Okay, guys, this is just a quick review of what we did today without the student interruptions. Um, let's go. Page 49 in your workbook. And the English words for today are is or are. Is is one of something. Are means you have more than one of something. Okay. And looking at the vocabulary, single equals one. Plural equals two or more than one. Anything more than one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's plural. That's more than one. Then we're going to look at things in the classroom. And we have a worksheet with count. How many? Count and how many? So you have to count when the question asks how many. And then there are or there is if there's one or more than one. All right, let's go ahead and look at that. We started with page 49, and it gives you a picture to look at. And there's five flowers, there's one tree. So remember, there are more than one flower. There's five. There is only one tree. So is with one, are, with more than one or a number. That's more than one, okay? Let's look at number three, okay? There are three clouds. You have to use those words. There is or there are. And because there's three, one, two, three, there are, okay? And then number four, there's only one, right? So there's one puddle or there is one puddle, okay? There is only one puddle. So this is where you use the word is or are, okay? Is or are, is is one, are is more than one. There are three clouds. There are five flowers. There is one tree and there is one puddle. So now look down here at D and write and count. The question, how many, and the answer, there are or there is. So how many, if it's more than one, there are. If it's only one, there is. So looking at the picture, there are three books. There are two pens. But the question, how many pens are there? There are two pens. How many computers are there? There's one computer. How many erasers are there? There's one eraser, okay? There is one eraser. There are three erasers. Okay, now another page you need to look at is page 51 in your Let's Go student book. And here, I want you to write down in your notebook these numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, the paper, and 10 over here, the kite, okay? Now I want you to look at how many are there? So number one, what are they asking how many of? They're asking about trees. So to go over the vocabulary, it's trees, clouds, a puddle, flowers, books, a ball, crayons, a bat, paper, and a kite, okay? Now you can find that vocabulary in your book. If you know what it is, learn how to spell it by looking in your book to see where is the picture of the kite and how do you spell kite? K-I-T-E, but it's in your book, okay? So now write these sentences down in your notebook and I'll see next time I see you at class, okay? That's our review for Tiger Time, to, or Let's Go Today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.